I bought this throw last year off of Bed Bath & Beyond and it is an Eddie Bauer throw and it's Sherpa lined. So I'm going to give you my review after having had it for a year and I am also going to unbox the new throw that I bought for this year. So let me go ahead and start first of all. So let me tell you, this throw has been everywhere. It started on the sofa, then it moved into the kids' room. Sometimes I'd see the dog laying on it. And anytime we had road trips, this throw went with us. So when I say this is comfortable, it's soft, and it just keeps you so cozy and warm, it is all of that and more. I just washed it today, and the one thing I noticed after having had it for a full year is that some of the stitching has started to come undone. So let me see if I can find, here it is, it's right there. You can see right here. This actually happened this morning. In all reality, it's a very easy fix, but like I said, this has been everywhere. If it just sat on the sofa as a decorative throw or just used it when you're watching a movie or something like that, I, that probably wouldn't have happened. But this has definitely gotten its use. So I'm really, really happy with the quality. Again, it's so incredibly warm. And I, like I mentioned, I did get it off of Bed Bath & Beyond and I, I got it off of their website. So if they happen to have it, I'll make sure that I link it down below if you're interested. But like I said, it is a full throw. Um, just stay tuned to the end and I'll put it on the sofa so that you can see what it looks like. I'll see if I can find the dimensions. If I can, I'll, I'll list it right here. But it is a full throw and look at this. It's so incredibly warm and cozy. So anyway, um, this is probably gonna be a short video. And like I mentioned, it is Eddie Bauer. This side where the flannel is has hardly seen anywhere. Even with all of the washings, I, like I said, my, washed it this morning and it still has a very nice plush look to it. If you're curious about buying the Eddie Bauer throw, it was very popular last year off of Bed Bath & Beyond or if you happen to see Eddie Bauer um, maybe on their website and this particular style where the Sherpa is on one side and you have the flannel on the other. This is something I would definitely recommend and it's gotten a lot of use. So anyway, um, like I said, stay till the end and I'll show it. I'll show you what it looks like on the sofa. So if it's still available, I'll make sure that I leave it in the description below. I did go online and saw that they're out of stock, but they have plenty of other patterns to choose from. So stay tuned and I'll show you what they look like. Now as I was putting these together for you, I happened to notice a couple of differences. These are 60 by 50, and these are actually faux shirling popcorn fleece versus the Sherpa. But as I kept going, I happened to find the actual Sherpa throw that is 60 by 50, and I found the Eddie Bauer Sherpa throw similar to mine, which is the 50 by 70. And if you prefer the blankets, Eddie Bauer does carry the Sherpa blankets. They do carry them in the twin, the full queen, and also the king. So you can see them here in patterns, or if you want just plain colors, they've got the green, the blue, and the beige. And I did link everything in the description below for easier reference. And honestly, <laughs> I forgot which one I picked. I looked at so many throws. So let me open this up. It'll be just as much as a surprise. I do remember because I kept going back and forth with the color. Last year, our sofa we still had was a dark brown, but we got a new sofa and it's gray. So let me, I ended up getting, I don't know if you can see this color. So this throw is by the company called Nestle. And let me, I don't know if this is, this is sticky. And it came so well packaged. It's almost like airtight. I'm gonna have to cut this bag. I just say this thing is so soft oh I'm so glad I went with this one again this is a full throw this I wish I knew what the exact fabric is okay so this is called the nestle cut plush fleece throw blanket I did end up getting a blanket which is a 90 by 108 versus the throw that's offered which is the 50 by 60 this one is not as thick as the Eddie Bauer one. This is extremely soft, very a plush as far as the, the fabric is concerned. Um, I think with this one, I don't know if you can tell, you can see the fabric right here and then a 
thin fabric in the middle. I don't know that I would throw this in the dryer, quite honestly. Um, like I mentioned, it is by a company called Nestle. It says tumble dry low, so I'm kind of leery to do it, but I may try it just once. Um, it does make me a little nervous because this little fine fabric right in the middle in between. So um, this is a full size throw. But anyway, I'll get a little more details for you as far as what type of fabric it is. Um, but like I said, it's, it, it's hard to compare. I'm just showing you my review for the one from last year and then the one I purchased for this year. This has more of a almost elegant kind of plush feel to it versus this one that's something you'd maybe have in a cabin or a very wintry type season. So anyway, let me put these on the sofa so that you can see what they look like. But as far as, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to compare because they're actually two very different ones, but I did, I did wanna show you what I had. So let me move these over. Okay, so I do have very soft lighting in the living room, but this is actually a blanket, and it's huge. I <laughs> just fell down. I'm going to go ahead and check my order. I could have sworn I ordered a throw, but now that I'm looking at this, I'm, this thing is really, really big, so I don't know that I would want it in the living room because of the size, but who knows? Maybe if we're watching a movie, we can all cuddle. But that's it right there. And I'll bring this up close so that you can see the fabric. Very, very soft. The lighting is a little soft today because it's very overcast, so I'm really hoping that this will do it justice. But I've been wanting to get this video out to you. See what I mean? There's like that very thin fabric in between these plushy pieces. So it does make me nervous to put it in the dryer, even though it says to do it on low. So as you can tell, it is a really, really long. And this is the actual Eddie Bauer throw. Huge difference. I'm pretty sure I ended up ordering a blanket instead of a throw. So here it is. This is the one that's Sherpa lined and it has definitely held up. Okay, so since this is a blanket, I am gonna go ahead and throw this on the bed. I will give you an update. If for some reason it doesn't hold out throughout the year, I will definitely give you a video sooner than later. But otherwise, this will be what I will be showing you next year, kind of giving you an idea and my review and my opinion on it. But otherwise, I may have to look for a throw since I haven't bought one for this year. You guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to show you more reviews because I kind of want to lead my channel a little more into that. And if you do, let me know what you want me to review. All right, you guys have an absolute wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so and definitely hit that notification bell so when that next video comes out, you'll be notified. All right, you guys, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.